So far this week in my reflections on the Trinity, I've been talking about the Trinity as three distinct persons. The creativity of God the Father, the redeeming activity of God the Son, and the inspiration and guidance of the Holy Spirit. But we know that the Trinity is more than just three distinct persons. The Trinity is also a unity of one God. The Trinity, therefore, is, by its nature, a community. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are a community united by their unshakable, passionate love for each other. And so the community that is the Trinity can be experienced by us in our everyday lives, in the communities to which we belong. So we can experience that same kind of intimate unity, that bond of love with a spouse, with children, grandchildren, in-laws, cousins, extended family. We can experience community in the sense of uh, community that we experience at our celebration of the Eucharist, in which we are the body of Christ, united by the bond of love. And we can experience the Trinity in the social contract of mutual rights and responsibilities that is the ideal of our nation that is the ideal of america and so the trinity father son and holy spirit the community bound together by love is accessible to us in our everyday lives and can be made even more accessible to us and to those around us by the quality of our love for the communities in which we live